Components of Environment Biotic and Abiotic Components Everything in our immediate surrounds, including both living and non-living things like soil, water, creatures, and plants that adapt to their conditions, is referred to as the environment. It is a gift from nature that helps to sustain life on Earth. The survival of life on Earth depends on the environment. The components of the environment are primarily divided into two categories. Biotic environment and abiotic environment. Biotic environment. Animals, birds, woods, insects, reptiles, and microorganisms such as algae, bacteria, fungi, and viruses are all included. Abiotic environment. It comprises everything that isn't alive, such as air, clouds, dust, land, mountains, rivers, temperature, humidity, water, water vapor, sand, and so on. Major components of environment The environment consists of four segments. Atmosphere, Hydrosphere, Lithosphere, and Biosphere. Atmosphere an atmosphere is a blanket of gases that surrounds Earth. It is held near the surface of the planet by Earth's gravitational attraction. Argon, oxygen and nitrogen from the three main constituents of the atmosphere. Definition Atmosphere is a protective layer of gases that shelters all life on Earth, keeping temperatures within a relatively small range and blocking out harmful rays of sunlight. Layers of Atmosphere The atmosphere has five distinct layers that are determined by the changes in temperature that happen with increasing altitude. Layers of Earth's atmosphere are divided into five different layers as Exosphere, Thermosphere, Mesosphere, Stratosphere, Troposphere. The troposphere is the lowest layer of our atmosphere. Starting at ground level, it extends upward to about 10 kilometers 6.2 miles or about 33,000 feet above sea level. We humans live in the troposphere, and nearly all weather occurs in this lowest layer. Most clouds appear here, mainly because 99% of the water vapor in the atmosphere is found in the troposphere. Air pressure drops, and temperatures get colder, as you climb higher in the troposphere. Stratosphere The stratosphere lies above the troposphere and extends up to a height of 50 kilometers. This layer is free of clouds and devoid of any weather-related phenomenon. Due to this, aeroplanes fly in the stratosphere for a smooth ride. The stratosphere also houses the ozone layer that protects us from the harmful effect of the sun's rays. Mesosphere Above the stratosphere is the mesosphere. It is extended up to a height of about 85 kilometers 53 miles above our planet. Most meteors burn up in the mesosphere. Thermosphere Thereafter the thermosphere takes over where temperatures increases steadily with altitude. It is the layer of the atmosphere which is first exposed to the sun's radiation. The thermosphere also includes the ionosphere, a region of the atmosphere that is filled with charged particles, where especially the auroras occur. Exosphere the upper limit of Earth's atmosphere is the exosphere where the atmosphere merges into space. Hydrosphere. 
The hydrosphere is the combined mass of water found on, under, and above the surface of the Earth. It has been estimated that there are 1,386 million cubic kilometers of water on Earth. This includes water in liquid and frozen forms in groundwater, oceans, lakes and streams. Approximately 75% of Earth's surface, an area of some 361 million square kilometers, is covered by ocean. <sighs> lithosphere. The lithosphere is the rigid, outermost shell on Earth. It is composed of the crust and the portion of the upper mantle that behaves elastically on time scales of thousands of years or greater. The outermost shell of a rocky planet, the crust, is defined on the basis of its chemistry and mineralogy. Biosphere refers to all the regions on Earth where life exists. The ecosystems that support life could be in soil, air, water or land. The term biosphere was coined by geologist Edward Suess who used this term for place on Earth where life can be found. Biosphere refers to the sum total of all living matter, the biomass or biota. It extends from the polar ice caps to the equator, with each region harboring some life form suitable to the conditions there. <laughs>